Well, as we all know, Disney have had a few problems with their TV shows and also with their stock dropping and loss of uh, revenue. So it looks as though they are going to try and cut back on some of the TV series and movies that they are currently creating. They did slate in a lot of different movies and TV shows uh, last year, but they are cutting back on these. And I'm going to show you the article which talks about which ones are going to be cut and which ones are going to be delayed. Let's take a look. Marvel reshuffles TV calendar with new dates for Agatha Echo X-Men 97. So it looks as though some of these shows are going to be uh, the victim of the writer strike, of course, which is still going on. But there's going to be some um, shows that are going to be delayed and some of them are shelved indefinitely. Look at the, the Loki season, season two, that's going to be going ahead. That's going to be debuting on Disney Plus on the 6th of October. Uh, that's one of the ones that is um, slated in for the, the next new TV series to hit the screen. So Now, I wasn't personally a fan of so Season uh, 1 of Loki, but um, we'll have to wait to see whether Season 2 is any better. But that's going to be the next series you're going to see. The next one is What If, which will debut around Christmas Day, although it is not going to be uh, Christmas themed. And uh, it's going to be based on you know the alternative universes, the alternative things for for different characters in the Marvel Universe. So that's going to be coming out originally slated for early 2023 release, but that's now not going to be coming out until around the Christmas time. Uh, Echo, which is uh, the spin-off of Hawkeye, that was originally going to be announced for the 29th of November, um, but that has now shifted to January next year, and uh, there's no definite date in January. So that is something else that could be indefinitely delayed depending on the writer strike and things like this. Next is X-Men 97, and this is something that um, is going to be linked to the original uh, animated series of the X-Men. It's a continuation of the classic 1990 series that aired on Fox, which is a really good series. I loved the original X-Men cartoon series. Uh, originally planned for fall of 2023, but it's now going to be early 2024, so there's not even a month um, listed for that. It's just early 2024, so you have to... Uh, Keep your eyes open and keep your ears open for um, for when that's going to be. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will give you, of course, all the updates when these things actually do take part. Is Agatha, which is the Wonder Vision spin-off, of course, and uh, that was originally announced for the winter of 2023, but that's been pushed back until early fall of 2024. So that's it. Looks like they're pushing things back into roughly uh, each quarter of the year. Um, and that's going to be served up around the uh, Halloween time, which is probably a good place to put it. If you're obviously you're talking about agro things, things like that, it's probably going to be a good place to put it around Halloween time. Uh, it was. Um, it's going to be titled something. I mean, it's been House of Harkness, Coven of Chaos, and uh, now Dark Hole Diaries apparently. So, whatever you whatever you want to call it, it's Agatha. I'm just going to call it Agatha. Iron Heart is another one that was um, going to be slated to come in that's going to be um, dropped this fall but it's now off the schedule it was going to be coming out this fall but now it's off the schedule uh, finished it finished shooting but it's con completion has been affected by the strikes so that may not even happen at all we'll have to wait and see for that daredevil is the last one uh, daredevil born again which is the continuation of the netflix series which was really good i really enjoyed that series um it was supposed to come in around spring 2024 but it's paused to mid-production because of the strikes and that is actually not slated in as coming at all so that could even be completely cancelled we'll have to wait and see wonder man uh, has also been paused mid-production as well so it's unclear where on the calendar the three those three series will end up so it's not looking good for um for disney plus i mean if all of these shows are going to be delayed or you know cut completely then it could be an issue for subscribers because obviously one of the things that disney are not happy about is the fact that uh, people come in they subscribe for us for a series and then they dip out again if there's more of a break between these series and these movies then it's more of a gap for people to be coming in and uh you know subscribing for their favorite show and then dipping out again so it could be even more of a difficult time for disney plus but let me know what you think down in the comments section about all those shows being delayed and cancelled and uh, and i'll see you next time